So this is one of those questions where I don't like giving a non-answer, but this may be considered a non-answer because uh, thermostat temperature, I mean, you know, it's, it's you. I mean, what are you comfortable at? You know, some folks like 70, 72, 75, um, but, you know, what's good for you? What, what, it's your home. What are you comfortable at? Uh, that is the main thing. Also, I, you know, I don't want you playing too much with the thermostat temperature, meaning, uh, you know, every hour or two you're at the thermostat, change temperatures, turn it on, turn it off, going up, going down. You know, find the temperature you want, leave it there. Um, don't mess with it, but uh, don't get too hung up on the number on the screen. Get hung up on the feel. Uh, what feels good for you? What are you comfortable at? It's your home. You know, you live here, not me. So, you know, what's the ideal temp for you is, you know, that number is going to be different for you than it is for me. So, whatever you're good with. Uh, the only thing I, I do ask on, on top of that, without, you know, messing with the thermostat too much, uh, whenever you're away from home, or if you're using a space that uh, that is, is not used very much, in the summertime especially, do not set it above 78 degrees. Uh, we are in, and why is because we are in southeastern North Carolina. Uh, it's hot in the summer. It's hot. It's humid. Uh, you want that system to dehumidify that space in the summertime. So uh, if you don't have that happening, you have too much humidity in the home, which will lead to having growth happen in the home. Uh, and that's going to be a big, bigger problem than it's going to be a bigger problem than you worried about the energy cost to run the AC in the summertime. Uh, so please don't sit it over 78 um, in the summertime uh, because you don't, you want to be able to dehumidify. You don't want it to have to, uh, you don't want your home or that space to, you know, get all that humidity in there. And then you have another problem which is not the power bill, but you have a whole another problem of growth happening because, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a bad situation because you don't have AC dehumidifying that space as well as cooling it. And one of the main features of, of the AC is the fact that it's also a dehumidifier. It's also going to take the humidity out of the air. That's why you have a lot of water in your drain lines in the summertime because you know it's trying to dehumidify and cool that space down so um don't go above 78 but also don't get hung up on the temperature on the thermostat again whatever is good for you whatever is comfortable is the temperature you need to have your home at